Hey guys, welcome back with another scrap mechanic video and today I have this really cool build over here and it's a working calculator which can do addition and subtraction um, I still need to add multiplication and division um, but yeah uh, dividing, yeah, well, um, but yeah, that's kinda difficult the multiplication would need um, about something bigger than this big thing here and I don't really feel like adding that but hey if you guys um, want it then just press that like button and I'll add a multiplication uh, thing but um, let's explain this thing we have bits over here so this is the current value that's in the thing and these two are memory cells. So the current value um, is shown here, and you can do a four digit number. And the four digit number can go from 1 to 9999. So, um, ah, also, we still don't have displays for the input, but um, yeah, well, you can remember what number you have put in, right? and so you put in the first number then save it then the second number save it and then you add or subtract so let's um, add 4950 and let's wait until it's done And this is 4950 oh in binary right here and converting it to binary is done by this giant ass thing and these things so you have the input right there and the input goes to this which converts it in BCD binary coded uh, decimal then this goes into this giant ass co uh, decoder which converts it to um, binary and um, this could be done even simpler because I have cells which don't do anything but um, yeah I first build all these cells I had um, some helper sh scrapster and um, some other dude helped me I think oh yes uh, I'll strike I'll strike hit uh, both of these uh, channels will be in the description below and yeah these dudes help me with this um, just building the cells it's just replicating 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 all, all the same um, then I have these memory cells over here um, these two rows are the memory cells these are deactivated now that's why these are on an angle and they are activated now if we write now down the next number so we activate the other uh, row of cells so now these are activated and these are deactivated so now we if we write something then it will be written to this cells and let's add 50 so 4950 plus 50 will be 5000 exactly so oh, I don't know how that happened but oh that's weird Wait a yeah. sometimes these get stuck If you know, if you see something on the display that isn't supposed to be, just check over there. I'll explain in a minute what these do. But yeah, the value is zero now. And um, if you want to add 50, then first off, you need to reset it. Um, okay, let's reset. And okay, 50 is being stored in the memory cells. And for those of you who know binary, just check it out, this is 50, because this is 1, 2, 2 plus 8, 16, 2 plus 16 plus 32 is 50. And yeah, now we want to add these two numbers. They are both saved, so we can disable it and just 
do this. And just wait a minute and it should become 5000. And adding, adding, come on. And 5000. Yes, as I suspected. Well, whatever. Um, let's divide these two so that will become 4900 instead of 5000. So let's uh, unpress plus and then wait a minute. And then in a minute we'll need to reset it with this thing. Just doesn't matter if it's on or off, just pressing it is uh, activating it. I could make a button of it if I wanted to, but hey, whatever. So now it should become 4,900 instead of uh, 4,000 uh, instead of 5,000. And let's see, nine, come on. Hmm. Come on. There we go. <laughs> 4,900, yes. Um, sometimes a bit slow, but hey, um, it's a freaking calculator in scrap mechanics, so um, yeah. Division and multiplication would work also if I added it, but um, let's explain the rest. This is the plus, um, yeah, basically both memory cells go into it and it's a big ripple carry adder, and, um, which just adds in binary. Because adding in binary is really simple instead of um, using decimal in scrap mechanic and it can be really it can be done this way really easy so hey then the next design is the uh, subtraction and it's pretty much the same design only some um, rotations are rotated the other way and that way you can uh, subtract two numbers from each other instead of adding two numbers so this like a reverse uh, ripple carry adder um, a ripple carry divide, uh, ripple carry subtractor you could say but um, hey let's go to the next design this thing um, tells the rest of the machine to do what to do subtraction or addition so if addition is pressed then um, these which are connected to the ripple carry adder for adding then they will come down and uh, the, this, this will be detected by these detectors and if you want to subtract then these go up and then these will be detected so that is the solution for adding and that is the solution for subtracting and then if I wanted to I could do a solution for uh, for doing multiplication here and I need to add another one if I need to divide so there are two numbers but let's get to the next design and this is so freaking I think I'm the only one who can say this is spider webbing Really, nobody else can say he's spider webbing something now. This is spider webbing. Whatever you build, that's that's nothing compared to this. <laughs> but hey, um, let's go into the next thing. These are all the binary outputs. So you have one here, and that's three thirty-six degrees on this thing. And uh, for the next thing it's 72, so that's uh, binary 2, then this is binary 3, so because it's two, um, 3 times 36, and then 4, 8, 16, then 16 does it on two separate, no this is 32, 16, yeah this is 16, and it does um, 36 on 1 and 108 on uh, both times. Because, yeah, otherwise these spin too fast and then these things can't uh, register and anymore. But um, let's check. This thing has binary output converted in binary, uh, in decimal. So we have a decimal output on this axle. And because of these coded blocks, it's directly converted into seven segments. 
and these are the seven detectors and they all go to the screen and yeah that's how the numbers get on there but what are those what are these well these are counters so if you have like a number and it rotates this thing more than once then you have um, past 9 and 9 and then you get 10 so it triggers this thing which then in turn will trigger that so yeah that's how it it kind of counts in decimal but hey um i wouldn't want to make a complete calculator with decimal numbers because that would be even more difficult for um for example um multiplication but yeah um this is the calculator the numbers input numbers can go from 1 to 9999 uh, 9, and the output can go up to 32,000 something let's check um, this is the last one and 65,000 and something else that is huge yeah I know why would I do this but yeah if I wanted to add uh, multiplication then I need to do that and I need to do even more because 9999 times 9999 is way bigger than this but um, hey these are still here and we can use these if we want to do multiplication and this thing is just to check if it went even higher because then there would be an overflow and this will trigger um, so yeah if you want to see me do the multiplication then be sure to like the video if I get like 100 likes or something then I will do the multiplication or just comment in the comment section and yeah be sure to check out my other creations and to subscribe and see you in the next one bye